Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to have a look at how to create templates and how to create folders within the templates feature. So first of all, what is a template? A template is a document that you set up and then you access through the file and new feature. You do not open a template unless you want to change the actual template. Now, what a template is not is a file that is saved onto somebody's drive and then just copied and saved as. That is what a lot of people think templates are. And I think that's Microsoft's issue from 2010 when they made saving templates very difficult. But now it's back to how it was prior to 2010, a very simple process, file save as template. And then it goes in the templates folder. And then when you click on new, you have... Um, these are the preloaded ones, office ones. You've got personal, and then you can see I've created a folder there. And if I open that, there is another subfolder. And if I open that, there is a, I uh, double clicked on that one, there is a letter in there. I'll just do that again. Personal, click, click. That is a document that I've created and put into that folder. And I've also created these two folders, and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So if I just go back and just close this template down because even though I opened that template called training, which just happens to be a blank piece of paper, it is now called document six. It's not called training. So you're just opening a copy of training and then you save this as normal, not affecting the original document at all. So that's what we're going to do. So if I just close this down and get a blank document, let's say, let's say we want to do a quick memo as a template. Um, so we've got two, Cover the spaces from date subject. Nothing too um, complicated. You'll get the idea. So that was auto text I did there. Just three three dashes and then enter. There's auto text for you. So today's date. I'll put in the date. If I want um, the date to be automatic, I want that type of date. And it is ticked. So okay. And it's showing the code there, so I don't want the code. Let's change that over. Alt F9 puts that back to show you the actual date. So that's all I want. I'll just color this in. I'll center this actually. Make it bold and put some shading around it so that we have our little template. So that's all I want. So this gets filled in as and when you use it. So now I just save that. So still control S or save, file save as, but it's coming up as a Word document. And I want this to be a document template, so Word template. So now it comes to what is the default folder for templates. And there's mine that I've created. It's easy. Now, if I go in there, there's all these subfolders. Now these subfolders don't show unless there's a document inside them. So if I go into sales and save this one into sales, save, you'll see what I mean. So that's the document template. If I close that, now I want to use that. I go file, new, it's in the personal, and then it's easy, which is what I created. And now you can see sales and training. So before you could only see training, but now there is actually something in that folder. So it shows it. So this is a bit of the uh, problem I think that a lot of people have. They know how to create folders, but because there's nothing in the folders, they don't show up. So you actually physically need to put something in there. So if I go into sales, there's the memo, open the memo, and now it says document eight. So if I just mess this one up, you get the idea. So I've messed that up. I want another one to go again, file new, personal, it's easy sales memo ready to go again as if you just created it so you are not damaging the original document you're creating a copy of the original document and only if you needed to edit this would you have to go into the template folder to open it and then you can edit it so if i just show you that if i go into the windows explorer if i open it's easy and then sales there's memo and then 
I've just double clicked on that so it opened it as a copy. So if I go back in there and right click on it, open, it opens memo. And then I can change this, for example, uh, change the shaded area to something different. Control S, save. Control W, close. Close that one. Go back into Word. Okay, I must close this down. Close that down. Don't want to save that. And then my memo should now have changed. If I go new, personal, it's easy, sales, open up memo, and then it has changed. Change the copy. So this way is a safe way of creating a company wide stationery uh, that people, users, cannot destroy even on purpose or accidentally is usually the case why people typing over the title and things like that and then for everybody else using that it's not correct you get the idea where people will copy a, what they think is a template and put it onto their desktop it's not a template it's just a it's just a word document now the template folders if i go into file options under save, you can set your default location, which I've done there. Now, sometimes this, fo this, this folder here is hidden, so you have to activate that. And sometimes it defaults um, to um, see uh, documents, templates. I'll just show you what it defaults to. I'll just cancel that off. So if I go into documents, you've got custom office templates in there and that's where it defaults to so I've changed the default by going onto the C drive into users me there's there's it's slightly shaded out looks so it's a hidden folder app data roaming Microsoft and then down the bottom there you've got templates and there's it's easy so if I create another folder inside there so if I just go back to home new folder um, what can I call this I've got finance I'll call it admin so we've got admin so if I go into word and just close this one down get a new piece of paper and save this as a template file save as so it's going to be document template I'll call this um, Steve now when I click on save it's saved to this PC All right let's just go back into that so I want to save as so it's going into templates but I don't want it to go there I want it to go into so there it is there look it's easy and then I want it to go into admin and then save so now it's saved into admin so it says save to this PC if if this was on a network your network location would be the default for templates but the IT department can set this default location which is quite easy to do but now if I just um, type something so there's something to look at save and then close now I should be able to get that by going File, New, Personal, going to It's Easy. There's Admin now, you can see Admin. You can't see the other two folders that's in there, Finance and whatever the other one was, because there's nothing in it. Go into Admin, there's Steve, Open Steve, and there it is. So that's basically how templates work. Uh, the only difference would be in an organisation, the location will be set by your IT department, this location. But if you haven't got it set and that's coming up with the default location, you can just ask your IT, if you're a manager, for, for them to set up a, a location that you can all access from, the, from your own PCs through the network. And it is a very simple task. But that's all I wanted to talk about on this little module. I hope you enjoyed that and thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one.